Hi, I'm Dr. Kathleen McGill, the head vet for the Yukon Quest sled dog race. And we're standing here in Dawson, halfway point of the race, of a thousand mile race. And we, the veterinarians, take care of the dogs throughout the race. We've been, uh, since the race start, the dogs have been looking good. Um, the vet team's here to take care of any problems. If a dog is sore, has a sore wrist, sore back, doesn't feel good, we do a full exam and we carry full medical kits so we can treat any dog along the trail if we need to. If a musher decides to drop a dog or we, the vets and the musher decide together to drop a dog, the vet team takes care of that dog until we can hand it off to the handlers. So we're, we're responsible for the health and care of any dog at any time, 24 hours a day for the entire length of the race. Once we get to Dawson, this is a little different from other races, um, much like the Iditarod, we run a thousand miles, but in the second half of our race, we take a 36 hour layover in Dawson. In this case, it's gonna be a 40 hour layover due to logistics so that we'll have people ready and eagle to monitor the dogs when they arrive. But in Dawson, the medical team does what's called a mandatory vet check. And we really look at the dogs from stem to stern. We start at the nose and we work our way all the way back. A little bit like what we look for in your pet dog, but more so because these are athletes. They're fine athletes that are running a thousand miles. So we want to make sure these dogs are conditioned, ready to go for the second half of the race. So here in Dawson, they can rest, they can eat. We give them a complete medical exam. We're listening to their hearts, to their lungs. We're taking their temperatures. We're weighing some of them. Uh, a lot of times if they have sore muscle groups, we want the mushers or the handlers to be massaging. Massaging is a great thing for sore muscles. If any of you out there have had massages, you know how good they are. Um, so we wanna be doing that. We're working on feet. If the feet are sore, have splits, then they have plenty of time to take care of medical issues and let the dogs just rest and be ready for the second half of a race. The vet team does a lot of work here in Dawson. We don't usually get a lot of time off, so the mushers come to town and sleep. We do manage to get a shower, hopefully, uh, for our teammates' sake anyway. But we work 24-7 here in Dawson until the dogs start to leave, and we're here with the vet team until the last dogs, the last team leaves Dawson. So we get stretched out pretty far along the trail. But there's always medical care for the dogs along the trail and that's what we're here for and we want to do. Up until this point the dogs have been looking really good. Uh, the temperatures have been nice. We haven't had severe cold. That always makes it a little bit more difficult for all of us. The dogs do run, run best in cold temperatures. We actually don't want it to be too hot. And this isn't too hot. Actually, this is ideal right now. And I'm not even sure what Fahrenheit it is or Celsius it might be at this point. Uh, and it, but it's comfortable for us. It's comfortable for the dogs. They can run in this, this temperature. And everybody does well.